And I want to give people the big picture. The reason I don't care for Yellen or Powell, because they're both Marxist. And when I say that, I get nailed. But I will, I will read you a quote from Lenin. Okay, this is Vladimir. He says, the establishment of a central bank, this is a direct quote, is 90% of a communizing of a nation. That's Yellen and Powell. And the other, <coughs> other statement from Lenin is, and this is in manifesto here, the best way to destroy the capitalist system is to debauch the currency. So, Michelle, every time I've been on your program, I just say the same thing. <laughs> I like gold, silver, Bitcoin, because I don't trust the Treasury. <laughs> I don't trust the Fed. And, you know, Ron Paul said we should end the Fed. I agree with him. They're actually Marxist organizations. And that's what I cover in my book coming out November 10th, the Marine Corps birthday, is we need the capitalist manifesto. And that's why our goal sovereign Bitcoin are for capitalists. Well, I'm going to focus a little bit on what you said uh, with, with a Marxist angle, because this, to your point, plays right into it, this conversation that with the political impasse over raising the debt ceiling, that talk of a trillion dollar platinum US coin has now returned to Washington. Now, this would be unprecedented, but not necessarily illegal. Uh, there's a 1997 law, which in theory allows the treasury secretary to authorize a platinum coin at the value of his or her discretion. So in theory, Yellen could mint a $1 trillion platinum coin and deposit it in the Federal Reserve and that ceiling issue solved. Now, look, it's it's an accounting gimmick to people with uh, critical thinking. But what do you make of this platinum coin idea? Do you think it happening? And if it does happen, what impact do you think it would have? I'd say it's desperate people doing desperate things. And, and as you and I know, this the stock market, like I said, it's not it's not the S and P five hundred. It's the S and P seven. And the separation between the stock market and the economy has, has never been worse. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm just disturbed because the money is staying only in the investor market. Every time the Fed does something, the Treasury does something, only guys like me get richer. But the money is not going into the real economy. They're not investing. They haven't invested for years in plant and equipment. So we have massive, massive unemployment and underemployment. And that's why I quote Lenin, the establishment of a central bank is 90% of communism. And the best way to destroy a capitalist system is to botch the currency. That was in 1971 that Dixon took the dollar off the gold standard. So in, in this book here, I kind of woke up in 1972 as a Marine pilot flying in Vietnam. And I went behind enemy lines in Vietnam <laughs> looking for gold because it was illegal in 1972 for Americans to own gold. You see, every professional investor knows it's not when you sell, it's when you buy. So I bought Bitcoin at 6,000 and 7,000. So I'm just saying I can't, I'm, I'm a pure capitalist. When markets crash, it's the best time to get rich. So I, I'm getting very excited about a crash coming because the better stocks will come available. Da, da, da. Unfortunately, Michelle, there would be massive social unrest. So for an investor watching this and seeing the economic fundamentals crumble, as you point out that they are, seeing the geopolitical unrest and tension, what can an individual investor that's getting this information from you do in anticipation of this? Yellen and uh, Powell, who work for the Fed and for the Treasury, they both worked for the Fed, which again is a communist organization. He'll say so in here. Time to wake up is what I'm saying. All right, and but get, what, what, what should you do? Are you saying get out of equities, get out of your positions, stay in cash and keep that cash on the sideline to take advantage of the crash? What are you saying that uh, an investor who's watching Kitco, who's watching these other channels, who's watching your channel, should potentially do in order to best protect their portfolio? Well, that's a great question because the only reason you'd be worried, it really goes back to what was, it, what did you buy? Yeah. You remember, your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. So I remember in 2000, gold went down to like 300 or something like this. 
I thought I died and went to heaven. I just backed up the truck. So when Bitcoin went to, let's say, 20,000, I was going, well, that's kind of interesting. So when it backed down to three, then uh, rebounded to six, I picked it up at six, I'm, and it's 41 today. <clears throat> so your profits are made when you buy, not when you sell. So if you're worried about your position, you probably bought too high. So you're holding on to your gold, silver, and Bitcoin, clearly. Um, do you think that after this October crash happens that there'll be significant appreciation, a significant rally of all of those assets afterwards? I believe so. I am very, that's why I started this whole thing. I am very bullish gold, silver, and Bitcoin, but I'm very anti-Fed and Treasury. And I think it's very interesting that Yellen came from the Fed. And I may, I may repeat, Lennon, again, the establishment of a central bank is 90% of communizing a nation. That's in this book, Capitalist Manifesto. I think we better wake up because our academics, our school teachers, are Marxists. 